Okay, just giving this camera a test. It's got like a cool fisheye sort of look. I've, uh, I've put in an 8 gigabyte class 10 uh, micro SD card and it's saying it had about 1 hour 25 of recording and I've taken about um, 3 or 4 pictures already so you know that's, that's alright. Got a 32 gigabyte one on the way. This mode is uh, without the anti-shake on. I think I'm going to turn on the anti-shake but I need to check the difference because I don't want it to be too huge because then it cuts out all the corners of your video. Um, yeah, I like this. Uh, I like this. And all these accessories. I've got a uh, selfie stick on the way. Because it didn't come with one. But that doesn't matter. Right then. Anti-shake is on. Let's see how different it is. Uh, I'll give it a run for its money. Okay. Let's, uh, right, I just took a picture on the picture mode with uh, the highest settings for the whatever pitch you can get. So now I'm going to try taking a picture whilst I'm filming, which you can do by pressing the, the mode button on the front, the power button. So it's about this. Taking that picture. Yeah. Uh, I think that took it. I'll do it again just to make sure. Ooh, get my hand in the way a bit. Jesus. It's one problem with a really wide lens. Right, and we'll see if that, that worked. So, uh, and shake mode. I love, I love this camera. Um, I think it's insane. And it's so cheap as well. 40 to 50 quid. I think it's good. But let's check the quality first. And just then, I didn't know what happened, but the screen went off. But in the settings, you can change it. Uh, I didn't realise it went off after... Um, a minute, so I'm going to change that because I don't, I don't want it to go off because you can't see what you're filming. But I just tapped the OK button to see what was on screen again. It didn't stop the recording. So there's a little tip, and uh, thank you. There's that. Just quickly back to taking photos when you, you're filming. Uh, it didn't work, so I think I've got to hold the mode button. Um, I don't know if it's done anything. Just uh, two more points. Firstly, I'm going to try the. Whoa. I'm going to try the. Uh, oh, zoom, zoom. So, let's give it a go. Oh. Oh. Nice. Um. And secondly, just wanted to point out the batteries. So there's two, but you can't charge them both at the same time because it's got to be in the camera to charge and then you've got to plug it into the you know, the laptop. But I think there are adapters on Amazon or like charging stations where you can put the two in and uh, yeah, they just charge them together. Isn't that right? Yeah. Uh, one more point actually. I'm going to put the HDR on and see if we get any better quality. So... If I just get this one view over here, um, yeah. So I'll leave it like this. I'll stop the video now and then I'll turn HDR on. Oh, it's quite bright and see if it improves. This is with HDR on. Um, well, I can't tell the difference on the camera screen, apart from there's a little HDR button that's flashed up. The I thought we might reduce the amount of memory space available like the amount um, amount of time but it still said one hour 21 minutes um, so let's see if this is an improvement because on the iPhone the, the, the pictures are much better when you've got HDR on but we'll see if it, it works on this